morning guys so today cheers happy whatever day you're watching this day so today we are going to style our bookshelves I have my ladder out over here as you can see last week I showed you guys how to make them look more expensive and built-in and custom and so this week we're going to style it when I went to go style I realized that we just needed a few more coffee table size books and so I'm gonna run to Goodwill right now and see if I can find any so I'm gonna take you guys along with me while I was in the thrift store I had to take a look around and I found some really cute items like this little milk vase a sewing machine for only 15 bucks and of course the prettiest glassware I loved these etched glasses for only 250 also how stunning is this dresser okay one more look at the books and now I'm heading home Okay, so I didn't get a ton of things from the thrift store, but I'm really excited about the pieces that I found. I found this book. It's Charles Dickens. It's Great Expectations. I love the color of the linen spine. I just thought it would be a beautiful book to have next to your nightstand or on our bookshelf, which is where I'm going to put this. It was $3.29. This next book I love because I personally love all things that are very feminine and girly and very detail oriented. And of course I love to sew and monogram. So lace just seems like a lost art in the sense of how it was made and the details of it all. I just think it's so stunning. So this is called Living With Lace. So not only are the pictures in this book beautiful, but if you slip off the jacket, the book itself is this stunning white linen and it has gold detail on the spine and I just think it's so beautiful. So I can't wait to display this. So this book was $2.29, which is a steal. Okay, so this is the last book I found. It is all about Yellowstone. I have yet to go to Yellowstone, but it is absolutely stunning and it's one of those places that is on my bucket list to go to. So if you just slip off the jacket here, as you can see, it's this beautiful, beautiful green with this silver font. And the pictures in it are absolutely breathtakingly stunning. I love this green. I wanna start incorporating more blues and greens into my home. And this green specifically is one of my favorite colors that's catching my eye right now. It's just a beautiful muted tone green. And this Yellowstone book was $3.29. So when I'm starting to tackle styling, the easiest way for me is with a clean slate. So I remove all of the books and items off the bookshelf. And I like to keep things on the floor and kind of assess what I have. So I like to keep all my books together, all of my accessories together, and all of my pictures together so I can see exactly what I'm working with. So I wanna keep this bookcase light and airy as possible. These two, I'm gonna have quite a few books here that aren't visually aesthetically pleasing. And a little trick that you can easily do is just take these books, sorry, it's a little harder to do with one hand, and just flip them around so the spine faces back and the page show and automatically it just becomes a lot brighter and airier. And another thing I love is just seeing some of the old vintage pages. Just some of the details are so pretty as well. If you don't love the book, another tip to do is just take this rolled craft paper. And this is, I bought this during Christmas time during the wrapping section a couple years ago. And I think I got it from Target. And all you have to do is just wrap your books and you can write with a paint pen on the side what book it is. But that's another tip to have a nice cohesive look. I'm gonna show you the easiest combination. So the first step is to start with your books and to create balance and ground your shelves. So you're gonna lay some books flat and you're gonna use some books upright. You just wanna make sure that they're evenly balanced. So one shelf they'll be standing upright, next shelf they'll be laying flat. Thank you, Damien, for handing me this print. So next you're gonna add artwork. How cute is this print I got from Target with Studio McGee's collab? I'm gonna add a personal picture. This is of our engagement. And then you're gonna add your decor items. So this white bowl from Target, some faux hydrangeas, and this clay pot. And that's all you're gonna need to style your bookshelves. It's really that simple. Okay, so that is it.
it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for coming along and doing a shop with me, vlog, styling kind of video. This is a little different. And if you enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of content and that way I know you like it. Um, stay tuned for next week's video. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell because I have a lot of great videos coming your way this year. So you don't wanna miss out and I will see you in the next one. Bye.